What is up guys, back again with the final part of the 2.01 tier list is actually going to be for the damage class. Uh, if you are new and you guys like these types of videos, I also did um, pretty much the same concept tier list videos for every other type of role in the game. Frontline support and flank, if you guys want to go check those videos out, those are currently up on the channel if you're new. If you are new as well and you, and you like this type of video and enjoy what you're seeing, let me know in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe if you are new, that'd be great. going to be having some gameplay go up here as well. We're also supposed to be getting a 2.02 uh, .02 update show later this week, actually, as well. So, I'm instead of Thursday, I'm probably just going to upload this tonight for you guys. Um, I also might be checking to see if this is recording, because the last type of video I did did not record fully. And uh, a lot of people got pissed. But uh, there wasn't, really wasn't much else. It was only like one minute that got shaved off because the recording didn't save. So I'm going to get right into this. If you guys want to hear my explanations on... Uh, I'm not really going to explain Imani very much in like super depth because I plan on doing a showcase with her and showing off a couple like uh, like a couple different like loadouts for her ice, fire stance, and like a mixed flex type role she can play. I'm going to probably be making a separate video on Imani entirely, so I'm not going to talk about it very much. But if you guys want to hear that, I'm going to go start at the bottom. I'm going to work my way up because uh, that's how I'm planning on doing these. I'm also referring, to, uh, if you guys want to go check out my other video, my 1.8 tier list, where I did like pretty much all in one video, everything in one video. That's pretty much what I'm going to be referring throughout this video as well, um, to where things moved up and moved down in the tiers, in my opinion. Now, this is 100% opinionated if you not agree with me with something. Please let me know why in the comment section down below, or, um, and stuff like that. So instead of leaving like a dislike on the video or whatever, but um, gonna start out with Vivian. Vivian's A in my opinion. I actually had her at B last time. I think I'm putting her at a solid A. Um, it's mainly just because she's just still one of the best damage dealers in the game, and on console she's very very good. Uh, not really as much so for PC. The thing that she kind of lacks is is mobility. Gonna put her at an A. Victor, he lost probably his best talent that he was like remaining in Firefight. There's nothing that makes Victor special over Tyra now. Um, if you want something that like a straight up raw damage dealer, um, I think if you're gonna be choosing between Victor and Tyra, I think 100% of the time you're gonna be choosing Tyra. Tyra's just so much better now, especially with her buffs, um, which I'm gonna talk about in like two minutes. But right now, Victor is very underwhelming. There's nothing really special about, about Victor. Yeah, he can put out some decent damage output, but there's nothing that really makes him special. He doesn't have anything that's like, like that adds anything to like a damage comp or for like a damage roll. Um, just very, very ordinary, very basic. Um, a plus, we got Kness and Strix. Now, in my opinion, I think actually Kness is better than Strix. I know there's going to be some people that disagree with me, but uh, I just put them both the same because they both have pros and cons, in my opinion. So, just kept them both at A+, plus. not going to talk about them very much. Um, Tyra, the one I'm going to really talk about pretty much in the A+, plus tier. Uh, Tyra got the 15% lifesteal into her base kit from on her, on her like, rifle or whatever it is. Um, that is a hundred. That is amazing. You can, plus, you can stab that with life rip um, from the item shop. Um, it allows you to win 1v1s way easier just because you're constantly having that recovery. As long as you're shooting, you're getting recovery back with a life rip. She has three viable talents now. Burn Monster, Hunting Party, with her, which were both really good to begin with. Um, Hunting Party more for co coordinated play. And now a Mercy Kill, which actually gives you a 2100 burst on your grenade launcher. Absolutely insane. I think they're actually going to end up nerving that in 2.02. .02. Mark my words, they're going to give you like a one second cooldown between bursts because it's it's so good. If you're not running Burn Monster or like Hunting Party, if you're like um, looking for like more damage throughout your entire team, or if you're like the only damage type champion on your team and looking for more damage, um, I think you can probably say, say and contest with Mercy Kill because Mercy Kill is so good um, as well. Then she has a she has the loadouts and stuff like that. You can run a lot more. Um, one thing she doesn't have over Victor is a little bit of mobility, but you can build into her loadout now. So, a lot of cool options. Tyra, I think, is really good. She also has Aerial Denial with the Firebomb, something that a lot of other da damage champions really don't have. Aerial Denial is also very good in, in Siege, mainly, which mainly what you're going to be using this what tier this is for, pretty much. Shaolin, I'm going to keep Shaolin at A+. 
nothing really changed about Shaolin. They gave him a new a new card called Poise that allows you to move a little bit faster. I honestly did not notice, notice zero difference. There is zero difference in my opinion to where before in 1.9 and into 2.01 with the card Poise and I think they had some other card that, that gave you like movement speed um, when you weren't drawing your bow. I noticed zero difference. Sha Lin is very underwhelming. There's no reason to choose Sha Lin over any, anybody else, especially in the higher tiers of, the, of this list. Shalon just has nothing. Yeah, they took the in-game reveal out of the game, but 150 for Illuminate, which pretty much counters his ult. It counters withdraw. It just makes him kind of useless at that point, especially with Illuminate. If somebody, at least like one person runs Illuminate, then like half of Shalon becomes useless. Um, Bomb King, not really going to talk about Bomb King very much. He didn't get too many changes. I think he's still a solid S-. minus. Willow, I actually moved on from S plus to S. There's just nothing really special about Willow. Willow's the only character in the game, which is the reason why she's S right now. Um, otherwise, I probably would have moved her down to like an S minus or an A plus. Um, she's the only character in the game. Still recording, good. Only character in the game that actually has built-in anti-heal now, being that death and taxes is gone from Leon with the dead zone. Um, that's the only thing I have to really keep her at an S, guys. Her ult's very underwhelming. Um, she just has nothing special about her to compare to like something like an S, S tier, even a lower. You can do more damage with the lower tier. The only thing she really has is built in anti heal, which I think is really good. Um, that's the only thing that really makes her special. Solid S, in my opinion. If she did not have that, I probably would have moved her down to even lower. Um, she has decent talents, yeah, but whatever. Once they got pretty much once they got rid of the, the 800 burst on the nightshade, she just kind of went downhill, in my opinion. She, there's just not really where she was, honestly. Uh, Drogos. The only reason I keep Drogos at an S+, plus, guys, I actually was thinking about moving Drogos down as well. Drogos really isn't as good. Since they nerfed his Fire Spit, and they kind of forced you to run Fire Spit like loadouts into your loadout, which you don't really have card space for in your loadout for like boosting the radius of Fire Spit and like the speed or whatever the fuck they have for the, in like the loadout cards. Um, once they nerfed like, the damage on his... And the, the blast radius of his salvo. Uh, he just kind of fell off. Um, the only reason I'm really keeping him S plus is because now he has three viable talents instead of like two two absolutely useless talents and two good talents. I still I still think combustible is probably his best talent, but worm jets and use a lot are still really good. He also has the ult that gets an automatic KO, and with Amani going to be in ranked next season here with the next update in probably like two weeks. Um, I think. If you want a good check to an Amani, um, that 100% checks Amani like every time she uses her ult, I think Drogos could be a good counter pick. Those are probably like the only two reasons I'm keeping him at an S+. Plus. Otherwise, yeah, he's still a really good damage dealer, but I think once, since they like nerfed the damage on his salvo and his blast radius, he just not, has not been the same. But they did step in the right direction with the, the uh, all three viable talents, so he has three viable talents to choose from. Cassie, not really going to talk about Cassie, she's been S plus for like ever now, in my opinion. Very solid. Nothing to really change about her. Leon, um, they got rid of de Death and Taxes, they have actually had, she has, I say like, I want to say she has three viable talents, but at the same time I only end up picking Precision, which actually I think consecutive hits boost your weapon damage by like 2% every hit, so. And they also gave her some cards to where you can actually increase your ammo now. So, I mean, before you only had like 6 or 8 ammo, 6 or 8 ammo I think it was, now you can increase that. Uh, makes her a little bit more useful. Uh, overall, I think she's still one of the best damage dealers in the game. She has so much potential. Her ult, her ult's amazing, especially in, in 1v1 situation against like a flank or like another damage type champion, or even a tank, a very low tank or a really, very low support. Um, the last two, um, <laughs> everybody probably expected these two to be at the top. Um, not really going to talk about Amani very much in this video. I'm going to see him still recording. Good. Um, Dredge. The only thing Dredge really lacked that was putting, that was like holding him off from being one of the de best damage champions in, my, in the game, in my opinion, was his lack of mobility. Yeah, he had Freebooter, but or his, his teleport, whatever is the, his, uh, the Rift, whatever it is, teleport. Um, thing. Now they worked re freebooter into his deck to, to the point where now you can actually 
teammates can actually warp through his like tele like his teleport things, whatever they call them. Um, that made him so much better. Plus now that he actually has, they reworked Crow's Nest into like a, it's something that like, knocks you up with broadside, um, which you can actually use for mobility. And depending on how many points you invest into it with your loadout, uh, you can actually have some really, really, really cool mobility with Dredge now. And that was one of the things Dredge really lacked. He's just so slow. Um, now that he has mobility, he has probably the best area denial in the game. If you just let a Dredge just sit and spam the point, you're going to be having a very hard time, especially if you're facing like a double or... I've seen even triple tank comps get 100% destroyed by like a Dredge, unless they had like a Terminus. Terminus is a good check for him, but... Um, if they don't have like a terminus, then they like get shit on by like a spammy sit and spam dredge if they don't deal with them properly. Um, hundred so much aerial denial. That's what dredge brings to like a point fight. If you let if your team allows you to just sit there and spam, and your team works around you and kind of protects you, and then you're able to like pretty much get the point every time. Um, very very good. I think they're actually gonna probably nerf broadside. In my opinion, they're probably gonna end up nerfing it. Um, or at least what, I, what I heard, they're probably going to end up nerfing or giving like a 2 or 3 second cooldown. If they do that, they absolutely kill Dredge. I hope they do not do that whatsoever. Uh, Broadside's probably one of its best. It's pretty, it's pretty much his alternate talent, pretty much. Um, that what lets him have like that fast reload on one of his cards. So Or heave away, I think it's called. Apart from that, we're really not going to talk about Dredge. He has the freebooter built into his deck now, or into his base kit which allowed him to have a lot more coordinated play and let your teammates teleport through your portals, whatever they are. His ult's kind of underwhelming, but if you can set it up right, you can get like one or two kills maybe on like a slow moving target. What I like to do is like hit him with a uh, a harpoon that gets slow and then ult and maybe they won't even get out of it and they'll end up getting killed. That's worked for me a lot of times, I don't know if you, other people do that, but whatever. Just overall really good area denial. Uh, and the one that everybody's probably been wondering for, Imani. Do I think Imani is o overpowered? No, I don't. I don't think o Imani is even close to being overpowered. Uh, she's on the level of a dredge, yes, just because she has the talents and the ability to put out so much damage. Um, between Splitting Ice, which is probably her best talent, um, I think they need to really buff Pyromania. Pyromania is kind of underwhelming. There's really no reason to run it, even with, on like a Fire-type loadout over Splitting Ice. I think they need to change Pyromania to the point where every time you hit somebody with a a fireball, it, it's in an area of effect. It shouldn't have to have like a three hit charge. They need to change it and rework it. So she has a, a fire type talent and an ice type talent that actually is viable. Pyromania still, even if you're going to be running a fire type of Mani in my opinion, just isn't really viable enough. I think splitting ice is still even better, just because if people are going to be grouped up, you can just use the ice and you're going to be getting more damage in like a shorter amount of time than you are going to be charging like fireballs and shooting at people and, and hoping you land, so. Do I think her ult overpowered? No. What people do not like take into consideration is Bulldozer, Bulldozer works on her dragon. People only think it works on her herself when she's in the air casting her dragon, right? And she's standing there. 100% vulnerable to any attack. People only think it works on her sprite, or like her avatar that's standing there. People don't realize that it actually works on the dragon. I know there's so many people that don't even know this. Um, if you're watching this video and you first learned it here, let me know in the comment section down below because I know so many people that I had to tell that it works on the dragon. If you have like two people on like a team comp, say you have like a damage dealer, they run like record two or record three, it's only 150 points to begin with. You're not going to be investing that much. Um, you had like two people at least with like record one or record two. It's dead. His her dragon from like a small distance is dead, and with within like two or three seconds, before they can even touch you. Most of the times, if you have so like a game awareness, and you know where the dragon is, is popping up and going into the sky, and where she's casting the dragon in that general area, keep your distance. If you have the, the bulldozer, um, on like one or two people, shoot at her from a slight distance. And it's legit dead in one like one or two seconds. That's all there really is to it. Um, so her alt, in my opinion, is actually a little bit underwhelming. And actually, <laughs> if you bring bulldozer into the into the equation, her alt's actually kind of worthless. Um, then Drogo's alt as well, 100% is 100% free kill on your alt. 
so his Drogos is, is a really good check, um, stuff like that. Um, then people will like to hunt you down as well when you're casting the dragon, so you always have to keep an eye out, um, especially late game. I think at the beginning of, of, her, of like the game, her ult is very good, but once it gets towards like the end of the game, I think her ult is going to be really, really useless. Um, as like a solid type damage dealer though, I think she is still an SS type damage dealer. And her ult can be really good depending on what type of team you're going against. Right now she's really new. I think as people begin to play against her a lot more and she does get released into rank. Um, this is 100% my opinion as, uh, by the way. I'm just thinking this is where she's going to play. So this is not 100% sure. I'll make it official like whenever I make another video like this in the future. This is 100% of an estimate once she drops into ranked. Um, with the next update, which is probably in like two or three weeks. So, in my opinion, I think it's going to be an SS, uh, along with Dredge. Probably going to be one of the top picks. Splitting Ice does so much damage, especially if you're not even you're shooting on grouped people, like on a point. Uh, so much damage on the tank. Um, her Fire Stance is a little bit weak, in my opinion. Still, It's still a little bit weak, but it can be good. You just have to play a little bit differently and kind of have to stay back and like uh, charge up and then shoot. Stuff like that. It has a different play style. I'll be making an entire video on Amani in the near future. So if you guys are want to stay tuned for that, subscribe. I'll be talking a lot more about her and giving some like loadouts for both of her fights and fire stance and some advice, etc., etc. Not really gonna talk about her anymore. Um, but apart from that, if you guys did enjoy this, let me know your guys' opinions and uh, if there's anything I did not cover in this video in the comment section down below. Uh, hopefully, I'm still recording. Good. Uh, apart from that, I'll see you guys in a future video. If you guys enjoy, drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.